Welcome to another Zion Mac video support video. Now I was going to look at the form, and as you, as you can see, I had somebody ask, how the heck do you create a database? Well, this video is here to show you how to do it. Now, when you go on the Zion Mac resource, or webmaster resource website, you will see that if you are logged in, you just go to control panel home. And this is your control panel. Different than what you're going to see. Now log in to whatever web host you're doing. Make sure that you have a password that is different than your log into zymac.com. You need to have a different one or you could get screwed out of a website. That's what Zymac has set up. Now, it's going to take a little while for me because I am uploading some stuff to show you. Now, as you see, the hosting control panel. This is different. Now, this is also going to change. This format's going to change again. Here you're creating a brand new, brand spanking new format. So that's always going to be there. Now, you see you have multiple options. Now, if you have the same passwords as you do with your login, designmac.com, change it. It's right here. Just change it. Now, if you do have a different password, great. Now, go to Database Manager. Don't read that. Now, as you see, it's very simple. You see, I'm empty. I don't have a database. Well, that's because then I'm not creating one just yet. I'm waiting for all my stuff to upload so this way when I am creating a database, I can show you how to do it per installation. Now, first thing first, you must create a database. That's the most important. Now, it says you can only use lower English alphabet letters, digits, and any symbol allowed within with a maximum of 53 characters. It used to be 16 characters along with whatever you were at for hosting. Now it's 53, including this. Now, I, I usually like to do small. I'm going to do PHP, because that's one of the things I'm going to be showing you first. Now you want to create the database first before you do anything else. As you see, it says, West operation has been completed successfully. Yay! Every time you see that, Go yay! Now it's going to take a little while because they are also working on the databases for some people. So it's going to take a while between each operation. Now you want to have a username. That is the most important. There must be a maximum of nine characters. Which means you can't have it as The media so that's too long you cannot have a single space so which means if you're going to do something like that best thing to do whatever your database is create a path create the fourth so this way you can have the user and the password or user and the database the same one let's say and I always say, every time you begin to create a new user, change the password around. Don't use the same password. If you use the same password, people can get into your databases easily, and then your your databases and your users and your all your other stuff is all gone, which means you won't be able to recover. Now, create a password. It could be from this. 5 to 15 characters. As you see, they're pretty moderate. You want to create that user. Now, when you once you create that user, it's going to say the same thing again. Yay! That's always good. Now, most important thing, sign the privilege. I've made a couple mistakes my back when I was starting with that. I'll be doing WordPress. 
Now, this is the most important. Can you see this? Go, yay! You just created your database with a user and the database there and password. Now, it doesn't have a table table name. Is that star? Let that star be. Star is just there as a temporary use until you decide to create a new database or create something on your host. Now, this is... WordPress. This is one of those softwares that use a database. Make sure you create a database, a separate database for if you're doing WordPress. Now, if you're doing also if you're doing another thing called forms, my VB forms. Create a separate database for it, or you won't be able to use it. Trust me on that one. Now. If you have any more help or if you need any more questions, go to the SIMAC free web hosting general discussion and help in the forum. I'll be waiting. Now, if you try to go on testwebhost.zzl.org, you are definitely going to be hitting a dead end. Now, I am not breaching the contract or the TOC because I do have an index.html just so this way I have it set so it's the video support website. Now, if you have any questions, you can always go on the video support forums. It's wide open. Nobody's made anything. There's no members or anything. Or you could always just go to the forums. Or if you really have an urgent question, like, how do I get email, enable, or something like that. Go to the hosting support, or if you just like to chat. Zymac IRC has a room set for you. You will definitely see me in the hosting support. For more video support, please visit video support. That's ZZL.org, and I will be creating more in the future. This has been Daniel Elliott with video support.